All right, time to play some more Star Wars Squadrons. Just get the mouse back here. Okay. So we're on mission seven, which is uh, Into the Abyss. Uh, Captain Garrill is cl closing in on Project Starhawk. Uh, Lyndon Javes plans to lure her into an ambush in the Zavian Abyss. Escort an empty convoy deep into the abyss to lure Teresa's ship to the ambush point. Okay. Uh, pilot, uh, the difficulty setting is on pilot, so let's keep going. Hopefully this loads. This is one of those days that where uh, it'll take me like a um, long time to load. Oh, nope. Is it actually loading? Nope. Oh, here we go. Please. Oh, here we go. Okay, good. Let's go talk to uh, these guys. All I'm saying is, instead of blowing up that listening post, we should have commandeered it. Imagine the kind of fun we could have had messing with the Imperials. <laughs> or the credits we could make. Uh, as your squad leader, I'm going to pretend I didn't just hear that. Come on, Gunny. You telling me the New Republic couldn't use more intel? And you know war ain't cheap. Actually, that's a good point. I guess once you steal a Star Destroyer, everything Imperial starts to look tempting. You know, we used to be rebels. We turned into a legit republic, and suddenly we all gotta stay on the straight and narrow. The commander's lining up a trap for Teresa Carroll. That's not enough of a con for you? <laughs> in the old days, I trick her for everything but a pair of boots to stand in. <laughs> But I guess this'll do. Well, when he's right, he's right. Now, how about we get some actual work done? All right. So the briefing. Wait. Anything else? <laughs> Just got to make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. Oh, all right. Straight into the briefing, huh? First, congratulations. Because you captured the Star Destroyer Victorum, our Starhawk prototype has been completed ahead of schedule. But the Empire does not know that. They believe it's still under construction. Teresa Carroll will keep hunting Project Starhawk until it's destroyed. And we've been assigned to stop her. So, using that decoy message I sent, we're going to set up an ambush. The false intel stated that you're protecting a shipment of magnite crystals essential to completing the Starhawk. With this bait, we'll draw Teresa and the Overseer deep into the Xavian Abyss, a highly volatile area of space. Here is where we set our trap. Don't worry about the convoy. It's empty and droid piloted. However, that does mean you'll need to clear any obstructions from its path. Vanguard, I want you to defend that convoy with everything you've got. We need to make this look good. Your destination is this bottleneck. There, the Starhawk will be waiting to disable the Overseer. And hopefully, capture Teresa. Now, it might sound simple, but nothing is simple in the Xavian Abyss. Brace yourselves. And Starhawk's crew. More than ready. I selected the crew personally based on their expertise and experience. They've been training for months. That's good. I appreciate your support on this, General. It's a good plan, Lyndon. Just be careful. I know you have a past with the Overseer's captain. Don't let it cloud your judgment. One moment, General. Sorry. I can't talk right now. Your squadron is waiting. Okay. <laughs> Seems to be busy. Talk to Ardo. If Lyndon's right... This plan could knock Teresa Carroll off our tail. The sooner the better, if you ask me. Lyndon's convinced himself that he's put us in danger. <sighs> they can't make him focus on the bigger picture while Teresa's still in it. The commander's a smart man, but everyone has someone who can push their buttons. I wonder if we can push hers, too. We'll give Teresa a harmless convoy to follow. Play this out and see just how far we can lead her. 
It's all about playing the long game. When the Empire occupied Moncala, I learned how to string Imperials along. If you seem harmless, people underestimate you. I spent a lot of time around Imperials, playing the dumb alien. A bartender, a sweeper, someone safe. Next day, the Rebellion would know everything I'd overheard. It wasn't easy, but I learned to stay patient and wait for opportunities. Remember, the Xavian Abyss is no place for the faint-hearted. And Teresa knows a few tricks of her own. Keep your eyes and ears open, all right? All right, cool. Let's go to the hangar. And let's see. Anything here? Nope. Sock the frisk. So, the boss wants to pull the old bait and switch on Teresa. I must be rubbing off on him. <laughs> of course, the key to a good con is selling it. And going into the Xavian Abyss, well, either you're too naive to know better, or you think it's worth the risk. Like, say, stopping a Starhawk from being finished. Teresa Carroll's risking the Abyss just for the chance to destroy some Magnite Crystals. Ain't she in for a surprise? I'm kind of excited to see our Starhawk tackle Teresa's flagship. All those engineers work their tails off to get it finished. That's one good thing about this new Republic. We're finally punching at the same weight as the Empire. One way or another, this is gonna be a show. <laughs> okay, cool. I've heard tales of the Xavian Abyss. They say it's swallowed entire fleets without a trace. Sending our brand new Starhawk in there is quite the gamble. Commander Jade must have complete faith in its builders. And in us, of course. We'll be the ones making this ruse work, after all. I took the liberty of studying the Starhawk's blueprints. It's not just another capital ship. It's a defense against Imperial fleets. Every spare inch is packed with lasers and munitions. But what really caught my eye was the tractor beam. If I understood the blueprints, the Starhawk's tractor beam is ten times more powerful than that of a Star Destroyer. It's incredible. The magnite crystals they use in the Starhawk's tractor beam are quite rare. I think they salvaged a few from the Star Destroyer we captured. My family spent an exorbitant amount of credit sourcing magnite crystals. It's so gratifying to see them go to a good cause. Let's put our new Starhawk through its paces, shall we? All right. So I guess we're flying the Y wing again, which is uh, again. You got your choice oh. of fighters for this mission. Oh, okay. An X wing, Y wing, or A wing. They've all got pros and cons. Check the schematics and let me know what'll suit you. All right. So we can choose. Okay. Well, I want to go with the X wing, <laughs> obviously. The A-Wing is a little too fast for me. And the Y-Wing is a little too slow. So I want to go to the middle ground with the X-Wing, obviously. And besides, it's an X-Wing. <laughs> uh, so I might choose the X-Wing. And let's see if we can change the loadout a bit. Guided Burst. Auto-Aim. Ooh. Hmm. I kind of like that. So this is basically the, just the burst, but uh, ooh, damage per second is pretty high. Or an at eighty. Hmm. Oh, one thousand meter range. Same projectile speed. This one has a lower DPS, but has auto aim, which is uh, I don't know. It's, it's kind of uh, yeah, sure. Uh, ooh, close range blast. Huh. Charge weapon. And we got the standard. I really want that auto aim, but at the same time. Uh, oh, should I just stick with the uh, standard laser cannon? Uh, you know what? Uh, let's try the burst cannon. 
Ideal for dealing a lot of damage quickly and if you have good aim. Okay. That'll be fun. Let's try that. Got a repair droid because I am very clumsy with my ship and it probably needs repairs a lot. Uh, let's see. Concussion missile. Medium homing. Assault shield. Okay. Barrage rockets. It's a dumb fire weapon. Okay. Ah, proton torpedoes. Yeah, those are... You need a lock on and, uh, yeah. Well, you know what? Uh, I might just stick with a concussion missile. And, uh, let's see. All right. Uh, seeker warheads will be fine. All right, let me check out what hull options we got. Less hull integrity. Max shields, but max health is down. I think I might go with this again. I think I used this yesterday. The deflector hull. Ah, increased health. Less acceleration or maneuverability. Ooh. This would be good for the A-Wing. Uh, more auxiliary damage, but less primary damage. Okay. So missiles are... Lasers are bad. Uh, I might stick with the uh, the Chepat deflector hull. Uh, hostile locks. Let's see. Max shields. Shield regeneration. Max shield regeneration. Yeah, I'm going to go with this. So I want lots of shield regeneration. Oh, wait. Hold on. Increase shields. Okay. Yeah, no, no. Uh... Huh. <laughs> well, it cancels out my other one. Uh, no, let's not do that one. Uh, let's see. Max shields 20, shield generation 25. Ooh. You know what? We'll just uh, let's do the standard. And. Max speed. I want maneuverability. Let's see, let's do um, maneuverability. All right. Should be good. Let's launch. Sorry, I wasted you guys' time with that uh, loadout, but uh, I just wanted to see the options. Waiting for the convoy's droid autopilot ain't smart enough to steer 
through these asteroids. <laughs> then let's blast them a path. Ooh. Okay. Wait, look. A star destroyer. Or what's left of one. I'd say it's been here a long while. You'd think this would discourage Teresa Carroll. <sighs> to someone like her, that wreckage ain't a warning. It's one more insult. Looking out. Oops. <laughs> they, keep, they keep getting stuck on the uh the asteroids. Tie bombers at. They're on my back. Adam. I got one. Ah. Five, stay on course. These damn storms, man. We pushed them back. Let's keep going. Okay, good. slow right now. Here I am. All right. Everybody's on my tail. Hopefully. You can't see them. Also, I'm upside down. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> there it is. The 
Overseer. Finally. We've drawn it in. Nobody panic. This is the plan. Defend the convoy and keep luring the Overseer to the ambush point. How could you challenge an Imperial Star Destroyer? Ooh, this is bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Got a juke, got a juke. Make sure those beams don't get me. Bombers. Got me in a tractor beam. Oh man. Well, there goes my um more Imperial fighters. Check behind. Gotta take out those bombers. They're on my tail. Good looking out. Well, it takes like ages for the Thai bombers to get here, so... Come on. Lesson learned. Don't go near the, uh... Those bombers, come on, get over here. With those... No, what's with the frame drops? Somebody, please. Okay, all right. Teresa, can't hit something that ain't a helpless convoy. 
Come on, come on now. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Shield, shield, shields. Starhawk works. It tossed the Overseer around like a loath rat. Good. Lousy Imperials deserve payback with interest. Shall we just build a Death Star and get it over with? Oh, come on, Grace. We're still the good guys. Anyhow, we won, right? Wherever they jumped, no ship's coming back from that. Let's hope so. Oh, all right. Um, let me check what I missed here. Shot down three missiles fired by the Overseer. Oh, <laughs> there were missiles in the mission? Really? Oh, well. I didn't get the uh, complete Mission 7 without dying, which is uh, a shame. Yeah, I thought I would be able to get away from that tractor beam, but I guess I did not. Uh, that was, uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyways, yeah, that's pretty much that mission, so... That was pretty cool. And let me just grab the mouse cursor here. And, oh wait, hold on. Let me uh, go to the main menu. But like I said, that's about it for today. And uh, yeah, that was a pretty fun mission. Flying around to that, uh, that uh, I guess, um, whatever that was called. All those gases and stuff. But uh, anyways, yeah. So that's about it for today, and I will see you guys next time.